Hi, I'm Asher here to show you how to conquer the outdoors. I'm going to show you how to light a fire with nothing but a little itty bitty ember. The fire that you're going to see is a fire that I filmed on our past camping trip, which is also another video. But it's an important skill to learn in case you ever find yourself in a situation where you need to conserve your fire supplies. Just fine for everybody. Uh, later, yeah. Probably after dinner. Alright, I'm going to show you a trick on how to light your fire from nothing but dead coals. Or, almost dead coals. What you're going to do is you're going to get down and you're going to feel for the hottest part of the fire. The thing is right in here. What you're looking for is coals or anything that has a little, little ember. One way you can do it is you make a little diamond with your fingers. And you just see if you can see any embers in it. Because if you blow on the embers, they're gonna grow red. And you want the red embers. Is it feeling hot? It's hot, but I don't see any embers in here. Need an ember. Another thing you can do is look for smoke and just flip over your old logs and stuff inside. Be right there. I see one. Are you blowing on it? Yeah. Wait. What? Honey bee! Stop. Hold still. Let's see if I can find more in here. Definitely hot down here. One. How old are these coals? Since this Dada? morning. Dada. I need be deal. I need be photo. This is honey bee. Mommy, honey bee. Getting hot? Yeah. You're gonna grab tinder, a bunch of cedar bark, 
Run it up. You found that off a of dead cedar? Yeah. Just gonna put that in there. Using the diamond. Show us the diamond. Use some diamond like that. I'm gonna blow softly. Softly but firmly. Starting to smoke. Smells good. It's coming. Did you get it? Are you tender? Are you kindling? Put that on top. I'm going to get your bigger stuff. How come you're still blowing on it? The more oxygen you give it, fire needs three things. Well, two things. Fuel and oxygen to burn. And air, oxygen, yeah. So it's got fuel and heat. So if you, it's got fuel, heat, and if you give it more oxygen, the more it'll burn. So if I keep doing that, watch if I blow it, if I blow on it, it's gonna go bigger. See that? Very cool. You get your bigger stuff. You put your bigger stuff on here. Like that. Grab bigger pieces. Put them like there. Put it like that. And there you go. You got a fire started from nothing but a nitty bitty coal. And the paper I used was just a paper a piece of paper towel I had. But you can use newspaper if you really want to. I could have done it with just that cedar bark. You just rub it between your hands till it's super, super fine and soft. And that would have worked too, but just using the uh, paper towel would have worked way faster. So I just used it. But that is how you start a fire with nothing but a little bitty ember. Because you can see there's not no hot coals or anything in here. I was digging around, touching it, so it's not hot. Not tricking you. I had to dig around for that little bitty ember and I started this fire from it. So that is a trick on how you can light a fire with nothing but a little bitty ember.
Again, here's the diamond. You take your two fingers, put them together. You might have to pinch it or open it, depending on how much air you want to it. They do it, put it to your lips, and then you just blow. Softly, but strongly. What it does is it funnels the air through that diamond into the one spot that you want it so that lights up and gives it a lot of oxygen to grow bigger.